Okay then YouTube, um, some of you that are still watching the channel, even though it's been uh, pretty much dead for the best part of 10 months, will have noticed that I've uploaded a couple of drone videos recently. Um, and I just thought I'd show you the drone kit that I'm actually using. So the drone itself is a Tovsto Uluru or Uluru, I can't remember which way around um, it's basically a sort of Chinese phantom-ish copy the reason I liked it is that it's not actually a complete rip-off of the phantom like a lot of them are so, um, but yeah, it's 4K camera I believe from Looking at the um, spec of it, the camera may actually be made by Toshiba, so it's really quite good quality. This is obviously a uh, cover keeping the, the camera from getting scratched, but it just pops off and then three axis stabilisation. In the future I'm going to do a more up-to-date, sorry, more in detail sort of review of it and how to set it up and stuff because there's really not a lot on the internet about this drone to be honest. It's, um, it's pretty mysterious. I have found out some very useful stuff about it though. This is a snowflake sticker that my son gave me. <laughs> Christmas he said he wanted me to put it on here so I did um, so yeah that's the drone itself the Tovsto Uluru as I say it's I liked it because it's not a complete um, DJI ripoff so that's obviously battery compartment Next is the transmitter. So it's 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. It has so it has manual start mode, which is basically stabilised GPS and smart orientation, which is the GPS plus headless mode. But this can actually be changed, um, which obviously I'd explain a bit more when I do a more detailed review of it. Nice carry handle. This is Wi-Fi, which gives you a Wi-Fi link to the camera on the drone, which gives you your um, sort of telemetry. So you connect a phone to the Wi-Fi signal that this outputs and then this gives the phone the information from the camera. Um, works very well actually. Not had any problems with it as yet. It's, um, it's supposedly good for about a thousand meters, so a kilometer. Same as the um, range of the drone. I haven't taken it quite that far yet but uh, I can't see any reason why it wouldn't wouldn't work so you've got gimbal control so I can pitch up and down um, this in the middle here is return to home so to press that and just let that and the drone will bring itself back um, yeah not much else to say about that other than that it takes a battery which isn't great but So that's the transmitter. Props which are very similar to the DJI self-tightening screw. 
So these are uh, the batteries. 5,400 milliamp hours, 11.1 volts, uh, six cell. Doesn't actually say six cell on the battery. Clearly, I know it's six cell because I've taken one apart. So this, so obviously this is a sort of a proprietary battery. But having taken one apart, all it is is a six cell lithium polymer battery with a voltage checker in it that it hasn't got any sort of smart digital um, discharge capabilities like the, the DJI ones have this is just literally a live and negative port and a balanced charging port whereas a normal battery would have it on a cable this has just got it on a sort of a power distribution board inside so yeah in the future I may I may try and run it on a sort of non-proprietary battery but for now I've got two batteries and I get 15-20 sort of minutes out of each battery so I don't really need one as yet as I say it does tell you how full it is but there's no real sort of intelligence in there if that makes sense so yeah so those This is the charger you get with it, and this is what led me to believe that they are just a standard battery because these are just a your standard balance charger. Look, look for Lippo balance charger on Google, and this is exactly what you get. So, a few extra little bits. As I said, that the um, Telemetry comes back to a phone via Wi-Fi, so I've just got an old Samsung Galaxy S4 that I use. Keep that always with it, so I don't have to use my phone. And a couple of battery packs just to keep that powered up. Next strap for the transmitter. And then I keep my laptop in there. And leads for it. Mainly because I've discovered that this bird, this drone, runs on a program called, uh, what's it called now, Arducopter, which is basically um, an open source flight planner. So I can plug this in. To Arducopter by this here, which is just a micro USB, and I can do things like compass calibrations. I can get flight data. I can um, I can do autonomous missions with it. Haven't tried it yet. I'm actually going to install a a Mavlink radio, which connects this to the laptop wirelessly so you don't need to plug it in every time um, so yeah just a quick overview of it obviously this is not a review I've only had it since just after Christmas and I've only really flown it a handful of times so I can't really give a, an honest review of it yet it hasn't let me down as yet and then this is just a Sort of travel case that I made for it myself. This inside here is just a um, foam board. Get it from sort of like hobby shops. Oh, it's just foam board and it's hot glued in. Hot glued in. But it's um, real tough stuff. So uh, the batteries go in them cutouts and then drone in there transmitter sits down there all my extra bits like the, the phone that I use and the battery packs and the balance charger 
will fit in this little section just here along with a few other bits that's just a um a phone battery charger that i use down there and then just in this end bit is just the leads the power lead for the balance charger the power lead for the laptop and just odds and sods and also the laptop slides in there The whole thing closes up nice and um, nice and neat for, for travelling.